What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Oh, yeah, guys. So, off camera, I've been doing some work here. Uh, I've been working on the underside of our base. Yeah, we're having to run, like, power wires around. We're going to be running a bunch of applied energistic stuff around. We're going to have to figure out where to put that applied energistic stuff. So, previously, I dug out underneath the base here, like, uh, three or maybe six blocks below. Uh, since then I expanded that out. So down here was our Y50 floor, right? You can see underneath the mini map we're at Y50 right here. I went ahead and I dug this all out. So, uh, yeah, underneath our base is now quite hollow. I was only going to bring it down to about right here, but then we had like <laughs> this room kind of in the center and it just looked kind of weird. So I figured we should just go ahead and bring it down a few blocks below this thing. So we have access for all of our wires and lines and things like that, you know. The standard thing that I do with making basements around our base. Um, I saved a whole lot of extra flux ducts. Yeah, the way we had the cables ran before worked, but because we couldn't see the wiring, it really didn't make sense. And there was a lot of wires just kind of going off and doing random things where I could connect them and kind of like straight lines and save some more cable. Not that it really matters. This stuff isn't that expensive. But for instance, like right here, if I brought this line down one block, like we could save a few cables going all the way around there's no reason that it's up there but you know when I placed the cable it made sense at the time anyway uh, just some kind of random things but now we have items floating around like all of our better with mod stuff the mechanical power this is all kind of floating in air which looks kind of weird but it still performs exactly the same and we have our elevator here which uh, works I think these are unrestricted they can uh, teleport you or I guess elevate you unlimited amount of blocks yeah, so last episode we saw that we got a dodo, and since then we've gotten a few more dodos around here. Apparently these two made their way down here off the walkway, <laughs> and now they're stuck here for forever. <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed about the dodos that I had no idea, because I've never played with a primitive mobs mod before. They apparently place mycelium around. I guess they work similar to like a sheep, and every, I don't know, what, 20, 30, a minute, uh... They decide to place down mycelium. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be them like pooing it out or how that happens. But yeah, I noticed that we were getting random mycelium around. I was like, wait, how did that happen? And I sat there and I watched a dodo. I like grabbed the, mm, what's it called? The lasso. I picked one up and I sat it right here. And I kind of like backed away a little bit so it couldn't move. And I just watched it. And yep, sure enough, eventually mycelium spawned directly below it. So this stuff doesn't spread over grass, but it is one of those things, if we let them go long enough, we won't have any grass anymore, so I decided to get rid of them. I'll probably soak touch this stuff up and replace it with dirt and let the grass spread back once again, but I thought that was kind of interesting, because I've never seen that before. Uh, so last episode, we were also working on getting through some of these thermal expansion quests. Uh, I decided that I was going to start this one here, the basic one, which wanted us to make all these things. And yeah, the only thing I had to make was these fluid duct opaque, which is not a big deal. But uh, next one wants us to make these hardened ones. So it's a hardened servo, hardened flux duct, which we haven't made yet, and hardened fluid duct. All of these things, I think, are going to start requiring us to have hardened glass. I don't know. Um, so let's take a look at the hardened servo. This one is, no, that's Invar plus iron nugget. So that one's not bad. So easy enough, we can do that. Um... The other ones, though, Hardened Flux Duct. I think that is just Invar Flux Duct. Uh, hardened Flux Duct. This guy is, yeah, Leadstone Flux Duct. Now, does that require us? No, just one of them. Okay, so let's just make one since we don't have to make a whole lot. Now, the power on this one is 4,000 RF per tick, and the Leadstone is 1,000. Yeah, I don't think we have anything right now that's needing more than 1,000 RF per tick. But if we do, we can upgrade them, right? So that's kind of cool. All right, and then moving on, we need a hardened fluid duct. Hardened fluid duct. So that is Invar lead, two Invar, and one lead. Okay, so that should be everything for that quest. Very simple. Okay, so now we have two quests complete. Let's claim this one. We'll claim this one. Uh, going on to the reinforced ones, we need reinforced servo. Reinforced. Probably just type that and find all the different items that we need. So there's a reinforced servo, so that is Electrum, Redstone, Iron, and Glass. We have all of that stuff available right now. There it is. Okay, so now we need... Where's the other ones? 
Mm, are they not called reinforced? No, they are not. That's why we're not fighting. I thought they were all called reinforced for some reason. So redstone energy flux duct. These are the ones that we'll probably want to be going to. Those 9,000 RF per tick. Okay. So we have to do the redstone energy flux duct, the empty one. So that is hardened glass plus electrum. I don't remember if we had extra hardened glass. No, we don't. Okay. So hardened glass is lead plus obsidian. I believe it is four crushed obsidian for that. So we won't make too much of this stuff. I think that makes two per recipe. So that's a pretty easy thing for us to do at the moment. Those silly dodos. I wonder if they do anything else besides make mycelium. I don't know. Uh, so induction smelter. Those guys go right in there. All right, let's go back to the quest book. Super laminar fluid duct. Let's take a look at that. The super laminar fluid duct. Ah, more hardened glass. I should have looked at that. And then it requires a hardened fluid duct. Okay. And then beyond that one, we need an impulse item duct. I believe that's just a regular item duct with glowstone infusion. Yeah. Okay. So we can do that. No problem. Right. So we're going to have to do two more of those recipes. I really should have looked ahead <laughs> at the other ones. I kind of been like, yeah, yeah, I, I should have figured that out. Should have realized that we will need more. All right. So lead will grab, how about four more and then obsidian. Uh, there we go. All right. So we should be able to get all that stuff done now. Very good. Okay. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get this processed and then make the rest of those items and we'll be right back guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I made uh, some of these other items here. I noticed my microphone seemed a little loud. I turned it down. Hopefully, hopefully I wasn't distorting there in that first clip. I really hope not. Anyway, um, so we now have things here. So I made item ducts, and each one of these item ducts requires 200 millibuckets of glowstone, right? So let's get the glowstone melted down there. So... One block equals one full bucket, so we need five of these item ducts in order to use all that glowstone up, and there we go. So there is our impulse item ducts. So now we also have to do the hardened, I'm sorry, the redstone energy flux ducts. And there we go. So now we are getting ourselves our redstone energy flux ducts. These are probably going to be the items that we use a lot later on down the road if we're going to be moving power around using conduits or cables or whatever instead of doing uh the leadstone ones but for right now um yeah i guess we'll just make what we need for the quest so let's get that done okay very good so signalum is our very next one you know we do have some signalum and i believe we made some extra stuff but i don't know if we're gonna have enough for all of this i don't remember how much extra signalum we made how much oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we got plenty we're good we're good Okay, so we already have a Signalum Servo. I believe we got that from a reward. Oh, no, I said a crafting task, so I guess I must have crafted one of those. Okay. And then a Signalum Flux Duct. So Signalum Flux Duct is what? This guy. So it's a Redstone Energy Flux Duct with Signalum Nuggets. Easy. Done. Quest complete. Look at this. We're just knocking these things out. Okay, Resonant. Here we go. So this is going to require Enderium, which or Enderium... I always call it Enderium, <laughs> uh, which we haven't made yet. So Resonance Servo. This guy, yeah, Enderium. Okay, so to make this stuff, we need Enderium Blend. I think you can cast it out. Yeah, we have Molten Enderium. So how do we alloy? So to make this, we need one Ender Pearl. And then what is that, like a fourth of a Platinum? And then a little bit less of a lead. Okay. I don't really know these ratios, how that works. I really wish you would just say, like, <laughs> whole ingredients. <laughs> that would make life so much easier, wouldn't it? I think it would. Okay, well, let's grab, I don't know, lead. Let's grab, like, four lead, one ender pearl, And then we'll grab one platinum. Okay, so... If we don't have the platinum, let's go back here. This alloying, yeah, platinum. How do we get platinum? So that is only from platinum. So we were looking at this before, how to get the platinum. I think it was nickel we put through the pulverizer. Yeah, nickel. Do we have nickel? We have three of these. 
Okay. Uh, actually, we have the ores too, which we can put through there. And if I remember correctly, over here, since we are doing some sifting on this side, we should have some more nickel ore stuff. Nickel, nickel, nickel. Which one is the nickel? This. We have a few of it. Not a whole lot, but a few. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get lucky here. So let's put that in the pulverizer. We'll put those in there too. I guess we could also get the augment here instead of the speed one that like increases the secondary, but... Ah, yeah, I probably should have done that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well... We have a few of these nickel ore pieces, but unfortunately it requires nine of them in order to make one of those, the chunk things. Is that what this is called? Yeah, the chunks. Nine of those at a time. Yeah, so you don't get very many per stack of this stuff, unfortunately. And there we go. Okay, so we have 15 more. I guess I'll give this a shot. If we don't get it, I'll have to figure out another way for us to try and get this platinum a little bit easier. Yeah, that's kind of annoying that it's only a percent chance for us to get it unless we can find the platinum ore, which we haven't found at all, I'm pretty sure. We're not going to get a single one? Ah, we got one! Okay, perfect. <laughs> I was going to feel kind of stupid there if we put all that stuff through and didn't get one, but yeah, we, we ended up getting the one that we needed. Okay, very good. So let's just put that into our smeltery here. We'll let it alloy down. And hopefully we get more than one ingot for all of this work. I don't remember how much you get for all of this. Is it off? That's off. Okay, very good. And the pearl. Did Was it not lead? I could have sworn it said that it was lead. Click. Uh, alloying. Lead. Platinum. Enter molten endurium lead platinum. Oh, okay, so it didn't make the one ingot. My mistake. Ah, we need more ender pearls in there. That's the problem. I was like, I thought that was just the the liquid ender pearl. So pearl, let's put in. I don't know, three more pearls. I honestly don't remember what the ratios are here. Let's just melt down three more pearls and we'll call that good. Hopefully that will uh, use up the rest of the stuff. We won't have anything left over. Okay, so we have one extra lead. All right, so it was three lead, not four. And four pearls. Got it. Okay, so we get four ingots of endurium. And I guess I'll just cast that all out as ingots. Make life easier here. Place that. And I'll let the pouring begin. Okay, so we needed two of those for the servo, so let's get the servo done real quick. This guy, like so. Okay, very good. And then we needed the resonant flux duct. And that guy is a signal and flux duct upgraded with endurium nuggets. Alright, so we need we need to go and nugget our ingots that we just got. Wait a second, do we already have Endurium in the system? Because I made that thing, right? Oh man. I guess we had already received some Endurium at some point from a reward. I don't remember that happening. Well, we have extra Endurium now, which is good. Can't complain about that. I just didn't realize that we had already had some in the system. Hmm. Okay, well anyway, let's make our one Flux Duct. And there we go. Quest complete resonant. So this does not have a reward to claim. So other true, I can't read that other transferring. Okay, so this wants us to make signal and plated flux duct, cryo stabilized flux duct, and a viaduct. Okay, so let's do a viaduct. I believe the other ones are going to be a little bit more expensive. Oh, you know what this does? That's expensive too. That requires the ferian eruthium. Okay, well we don't have that yet. What about signal and plated? Uh, okay, which one in particular is the opaque one? So this guy requires us to have a hardened fluid duct with signalum and electrum nuggets. What do we have as far as that's concerned? We have it all. Okay, so we have that guy. Retrieval task, detect submit. Signalum plated fluid duct opaque. Well, we have that, but it doesn't say that's completed. 
I don't know why. Okay. Well, we have that right now. Let's put all these other things away, I suppose, then. Um, the next one is a cryo-stabilized. And this guy is going to require us to have jelly cryothium, which I don't remember if we had. Gelid cryothium. Yeah, we have this stuff. Okay. So two of those should go into one of these guys. So can we make that? Okay, very good. So we should be able to take this guy and make one of these cryo-stabilized, which has infinite RF transfer per block, which is awesome. Uh, we just don't have anything that requires anything like that at the moment. <laughs> All right, so I'll put that in there, and there it is, a cryo-stabilized flux duct. So erothium is the other thing that we're going to have to figure out how to get, and that is with nitrate redstone blitz powder and sand. I don't remember if we have any blitz. I believe that's those monsters spawn in the desert. And I don't think we've found any desert around us. But we might have gotten these from a reward. It's gotten us before, so let's take a look. No, we don't have blitz. So how do we make this stuff? We can do uh, fluid transposers of sand plus redstone. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so two redstone on a sand makes blitz. So sand... Let's grab, I don't know, 16, and then we'll grab half a stack of redstone. Let's go ahead and make that stuff. I'll I'll uh, use the magma crucible and the fluid transposer, make the blitz powder, we'll make the erothium, and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, so we're gonna need to make these viaducts, and in order to do that, we need to have the untreated viaduct with 100 millibuckets of Zyphurian erothium. So each of the erothium dust that we have makes 250 millibuckets. So we're going to do uh, two of those. We'll need five of the viaducts, which means we have to make two recipes. So we need eight hardened glass. Anyway, uh, so let's do that. We'll do this guy. So there is eight of these things. Perfect. So we're only going to need five, though. All right, so we'll put those away. All right, so now we should be able to get the last portion of this quest done. Oh my goodness. Uh, viaducts are one of those things I've never really used. You can use them to, for like fast player transport. You like right click on them and it'll like send you down the line or whatever. I've never really felt a need to use them or thought that I wanted to use them. Anyway. Uh, but that's what they are, if you guys are interested. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, I guess they're kind of cool, but there's just so many other ways of moving around. It's just one of those things that just seems like, hmm, why would I want to use that? I don't know. Anyway, so we can place all of those things back in the applied energistic system since we don't need them. We'll claim those, and that section is now complete. Very good, very good. All right. So we got a bunch of these reward chests, the loot chests. Let's go and pop them open and see what we get. So we get some leadstone flux duct. We get ourselves an anvil and an efficiency five enchanted book. That's not bad, I guess, if we want vanilla enchantments. Uh, compact machine wall. Arrow of harming, instant damage three. And arrow of doom. Doom, seven seconds. Kills in 60 seconds. So do you have to keep putting doom on them from 60 seconds for them to die? Or how does that work? Let's well, say doom for seven seconds. I don't. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, and then we get ourselves some melons. I like melons. All right, so we'll put all of this stuff away. Very good. Very good. Okay. So moving on. Uh, I think watering cans. I'll just go ahead and knock those out off camera. We already have. What do we have here? Um, a resident watering can. We already got that from a reward. So. And then we already have a reinforced watering can, which is like a creative version kind of a thing. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and knock these out real quick. What about the pyrothium and petrothium? Can we make any of these? Pyrothium. These guys, we saw blaze powder, brimstone, or sulfur. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. So let's try and make some pyrothium. Okay, we already have that. And then we need to make petrothium. This stuff is made with basalt powder, which is, okay, pulverized obsidian with redstone. Easy enough. Let's grab eight redstone. Whoops. Redstone. All right, we'll grab eight redstone, and then we'll grab an obsidian. We'll go pulverize that, we'll infuse it, and then we'll get this thing pretty easily here. I keep bouncing because it makes you go faster. I've been trying to... 
figure out how to move around the base faster than what we have been. <laughs> it doesn't always work properly, though. All right, so there's that. We'll put the obsidian here and the redstone there. And there we go. There's our first basalts. Okay. Well, now we have to convert that into the blitz powder stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's... All right, is it the basalts powder? Maybe it's that's what it is, not the blitz. Anyway, so we should be able to make that and complete this quest here now. Wait, what are we missing? We are missing clay and... Po oh, we need another pulverized obsidian. Oh, boy. I thought we had all the stuff ready to go. I was wrong. And then what was the other one? Clay? Okay, and that we have a in-grid crafting recipe. All right, well, I guess we go back over here one more time. And... Now we have all that stuff in there. Here it is, Petrothium Dust. Nice. Okay, so quest complete, the dusts. Awesome. So there's one more loot chest. All right, so we're knocking out all of these things. All right, so let me go ahead and take a moment here. I'll just go ahead and go through all of these things real quick. I might just make the automatic fissure and our mediator thing here. I don't think any of those recipes are crazy. Let me do that. We'll be back. All right, guys, so we now have all of these watering cans complete. Yep, we ended up now with, well, how, what do we have here? I started making our watering cans and upgrading them. We already had a basic one, so I turned that to the next version, turned that to the next version, but then none of the quests are complete. Turns out the crafting quest, and we had to craft the basic one, which we got from a reward, so I had to craft a second one. Anyway, and then we already had one of these resonant watering cans from a previous reward, so now we have two of those. So yeah, anyway, we got all that stuff done. Not bad. So let's claim these reward chests, these loot chests here. Like so, and like so. I was going to just finish out a resonant upgrade here. And in order to make the resonant upgrade kit, we need one more Enderium. You guys saw how kind of tough it was for us to get that one platinum. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more nickel to put through the pulverizer in order to get this. I think there's probably going to be another way that we have to do this in the future. But anyway, moving on, let's pop these things open. So we get magma skin. We get ourselves those uh, luminous blocks. We've gotten those a few times. More melons. We get an eerie mask and a wireless RF transmitter. That's kind of a random combination, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> anyway... Uh, ender pearls, and finally we get some fish and an inferium fishing rod. Okay, well, I don't see us doing much fishing unless there is something specific requiring us to do that. So yeah, I was looking at platinum here, and it seems platinum more is probably going to be our best bet going forward to get more platinum. You can take the platinum more, and you can pulverize it. I think there's a way you can get three ingots out of it. Or three dusts using a certain method. Anyway, uh, I think this is going to be our best bet. But in order to do that, we need the void or miner. Uh, we started on the void resource thing a little bit ago. And I don't remember why we stopped. Other than specifically we needed a lot more resource. You know what? I think it was the lithrate crystals, wasn't it? We needed more diamonds. Well, we have a decent amount of diamonds now. I don't remember how many it was, but let's set this down. If we set up the structure for the void resource miner. Oh, I thought that was the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the void resource miner. They share the same multi-block structure for, like, the void or miner, so I can swap those out and then try and get the platinum that way. Um, okay, so we need for this to get the structure panel, structure frame tier 1. 24 structure frame. So the structure frame tier one, yeah. So that was two lithorite crystal plus the interconnect. Ah, so that was the block per, yeah. So each one of these requires 11 lithorite crystal and we need 24 of those. So yeah, that's a lot of lithorite that we're gonna need in order to make this. So one diamond makes four of those. You know what? I think we might have enough stuff in order to do it now. I think at the time we didn't quite have a hundred diamonds. What are we at now? I already forgot. Almost 160 diamonds. I think we should be able to pull this off. Why do we have different... Better with mods diamond nuggets versus thermal foundation ones. Do those not... Or dictionary? I guess they don't. That's too bad. Anyway, uh, so... Right, so I think that might be the next thing we work on. Let me go ahead and start making some of the recipes, or I guess some of the items here. 
uh, see if we can get these things going and we'll be right back. You know, besides diamonds, I think the other thing that was holding us back from making all this lithrate before was bone meal. Yeah, believe it or not. We need a lot of the green and lime colored dyes in order for us to make this stuff. Uh, and we don't have a mob farm set up, so we haven't been able to get, like, bones or anything like that recently. Uh, but I remember that we have forestry in this pack, and we have been collecting a lot of appetite, right? So appetite plus two sand makes, like, eight fertilizer. So I've been using this forestry fertilizer to bone meal. It works just the same as bone meal, as far as I know, to bone meal uh, the Batania green and lime petals. And yeah, now we have 24 of these lithorite blocks, which is going to give us the stuff that we need to make the interconnects. Uh, we do need the daisy. I picked this thing up a while ago. I remember hearing something about these pure daisies cause lag just by sitting there. They have, I, I don't know. Anyway, I figured that I should pick it up if it were not using it, so I did. So yeah, we can just place those blocks around the daisy. After a minute, these turn into the interconnects. We saw that before. I have to do that two more times, and then I still have to make the rest of the items here for the uh, the structure blocks. Let's take a look one more time. So yeah, we have to make some more litharite. Uh, we're going to need 48 more of that. Let's go take a look. I know I have some extras over here. How much litharite? Oh. Oh my, did I make that much extra? Okay, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I was making a lot of the stuff because we can make it freely. Well, how many diamonds do we have left? Did I use up all my diamonds? No, we still got a stack. Yeah, I made more than what I needed. Oh, well. Uh, and what was the other things that we needed here? My chat went away. What did then happen? I guess that goes away after a certain amount of time. I'm not sure. Okay, so we needed structure panel, structure panel, 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 this thing. We need how many of those? Uh, uh, 20 structure panels. And that requires us to have the redstone plus iron. Okay, so we got that under control. Iron bars, gold nuggets, that's no big deal. Yeah, the interconnects and the other things are the hard part. And this should be finishing up. Any time now, unless these take longer than 60 seconds, which I think we might have discovered previously that they did. I don't know. Anyway, let me go ahead and wait for these things to finish up here, and then we'll be back. All right, guys. Well, I should have all the materials together now for our resource miner. Unfortunately, I left the controller back over here. So now we got to come back and then shift right click on it with the wand thing to break it, or I think we can use a pickaxe, but we'll use a wand. There it is. Cool. All right. So now we should have everything, the interconnects, the structure panels. We got the controller and then I made a clear laser lens. But as we saw before, if we want platinum, if we want a higher chance for platinum, I guess I should say we need to have a light blue lens. So I went ahead and I got some light blue dye here so we can dye our clear lens to that and hopefully get platinum a little bit easier. Now, I think this sits about three blocks off the ground, hopefully, and then I dug a hole all the way down. That goes all the way down to bedrock. You can't see. It just looks black down there, but let's set the controller right there. I think that's where it needs to be. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully, that should be okay, so I'll just sit up here for now. So with this, as long as you have the blocks in your inventory, I think you just hold right click and then it places them where they need to be. Oh, you know what that is? Okay, well, we'll have to tear out some of the floor here, which I guess will be fine. I didn't really want to do this. Actually, we should probably grab the hammer and make life simpler here. Let's go ahead and do that. One of those, one of these, and one of those. And I don't know how many of these blocks we need removed. I think it's going to be something like this, though. Or maybe that's for the tier two. Either way, it'll have plenty of space to place the rest of the blocks. Let's just hold down right click over here and I'll fill it all in. Are we done? It appears it is not liking this. We still might need more blocks removed. How are we doing? No, no. Oh, you know what? You know what? I did not make the structure block tier ones. I thought I had everything together. I made the interconnects, but the interconnects are not what we need. We do in fact need the structure block tier one. So let's make 24 of those. Whoopsie structure block tier. Whoop. Structure 
frame tier one is what it is. There's 24 of those guys. Okay, now we should be able to do this. So yeah, I made the opening a little bit too big, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, here we go. Move faster, guy. All right, there it is. Now we got stuff going on, and now we got a laser, but we don't have the, any power to that laser, so it's not really gonna do much. But it's kind of cool that the laser beam itself is the color of the lens that you place on there, so you can kind of tell at a glance what you're doing without having to like come over to it and look at it. Um, but yeah, we should be pretty much ready to go here. We just need to provide a little bit of power. Oh, it looks like I kind of dug that out almost perfectly. Very cool. All right, so we have power somewhere over there. I think what I'll do is I will poke a hole like so, and then down. Yeah, we have power wires right there. So we just need to kind of get some Litstone Flux duct, run that over, or we can make ourselves one of the wireless things. I think the Flux duct might just make more sense at this point in time, but we could do the wire. What does it cost for the Flux point? Can never remember. Is this, is this something we can do real fast? You know what, we can do these. We should probably just do it this way. I don't know, I'll have to repair the hole that I just placed on the wall. There's that, that, and this. All right, there we go. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind these guys so much if they didn't talk all the time. <laughs> the fact that they just make those weird like baby sounds or whatever it is all the time, it just drives me crazy. Okay, so there is this guy. I also forgot to grab a chest, which is a mistake. Okay, so this thing is getting power, which means it should be doing stuff. I got ourselves a grass block already. All right, well, that's cool. I mean, everybody needs grass blocks, right? <laughs> um, so probably what we're going to end up doing is I will let that run for a little bit, try and collect some resources that that's going to get. That should probably also be getting us a rhodium, I think. What do we have for a chest here? Maybe, yeah, I'll just put like a couple chests on there. Uh, yeah, we need to get the stuff for the tier two that that will mine up eventually in order to make the tier two. Yeah, and as far as I know, this can take a very long time for that to happen unless the the chance has been increased. I'm not sure how this is set up in this pack. So we got a sponge and a grass block so far. So if we want to make the void ore miner, which is what we really want here, uh, we're going to need some more litharite, a diamond block, a diode, some more of those interconnects. So all these things we can make. So that's probably going to be the next thing that I'm going to want to make is uh, the void ore miner. So we can try and get that platinum ore. We really just need a couple of those to get us going at the moment. And then as we go, we'll upgrade this thing and it'll go faster and faster and require more and more power uh, as it goes. But... Yeah, this thing will eventually get us all the resources that we will need, which will be fine. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, I think we're going to wrap the episode up here for today. We finally got our void resource miner going. Just a tier one, but you got to start there the way this mod is set up until you get the resources to make the tier two. And then you have to set up the tier two and get the t resources for three, etc., etc. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.